adjustment layer is an indispensable tool in Final Cut Pro 10. But first, what's an adjustment layer? It's a term borrowed from layer-based compositing applications for an empty layer that can pass through effects and transformations to layers beneath it. You can create an adjustment layer for Final Cut Pro 10 by using Motion. All you need to do is launch Motion, select the Final Cut Title project, this 1080 preset is fine, and the duration really doesn't matter. I'll click Open. I'll select the title layer and delete it, and then press Command S to save. I'll give it a name, and select a category, and choose Publish. And that's it. I'll quit motion and go back to Final Cut. Now in the Titles browser, in the Custom category, is my new adjustment layer. Now if you don't use Motion, no problem. We've created a free copy for you. It's called RT Adjustment Layer, and you'll see a link below in the description field. So what can we do with it? Well, down here in the Timeline Index, in my To Do Notes field, I have three different To Dos here. They're all achievable using the Adjustment Layer. Let's go to the first one, Make Chapter Markers Movable. I'll zoom in a little bit, and here I have a chapter marker. Chapter markers are great for organizing material, but just like all marker types in Final Cut Pro 10, the only way to move them is a frame at a time by pressing Control, Period, or Comma. Adjustment layers allow your chapter markers to be movable. For example, I'll press I for an endpoint, O for an out point, select my adjustment layer, and press Q for Connect Edit. Then I'll open this chapter marker, copy the name, delete it, Press M twice on this adjustment layer and paste in the name and choose Chapter Marker. Now that my chapter marker is on this adjustment layer, I can freely move it wherever I want so that I can position it accurately. My second task is to make these newspapers look old. I have a series of newspaper shots and I like them to look aged. Rather than affecting each of them individually, and copying and pasting those effects from one clip to another, I can use an adjustment layer. Q to add it. I'll stretch it out for the duration of those clips. Select it. Command 6 for a color correction. And then for color, I can move over and make it a little more brown looking. And for exposure, I'll bring down the shadows. So you can see color corrections will pass through this adjustment layer to all clips underneath them. So a super fast way to make a color correction to multiple clips. You can adjust which clips are affected by trimming the adjustment layer. And you can turn the effect on and off by tapping the V key, V for visible. You can also add other effects. I'll disable the color board, go to the effects browser, and instead add this aged paper effect to my adjustment layer. And now that aged paper effect has affected every clip that's underneath that adjustment layer. My third to do is to scale up these series of clips. These are a series of old DV clips in the 4-3 aspect ratio, and you can see I'm already using our vertical video, which is part of our Ripple Tools Complete plugin, in order to fill in the sides for a full 169 frame. But you may notice some stray pixels along the bottom and maybe along the top of several of these clips due to the blanking interval. One way to address those is to scale all these clips up. But rather than scale them individually, let's once again use an adjustment layer. I'll press Q, stretch it out to match, select it, and then in the video inspector, I'll change the scale to 102. Now I've scaled up all of these clips at once, and I've gotten rid of that issue at the bottom. Once again, tapping the V key will turn that off and on. So three quick examples of how useful an adjustment layer can be in Final Cut Pro 10.